All right, good morning, everyone. 6.52, uh, it's a bit chilly out this morning. Pretty uneventful night. That's all I got. What do you got? <laughs> It was 44 degrees. Uh, today's town day. Kennedy Meadows North. Also, we're gonna pause for a second. And we're back. So, yesterday, we didn't tell you guys because we were in such a hurry and we wanted to make sure we made it to camp. Classic, like always. But, we passed 2300, woo, woo, woo. Yay. Oh, we gotta get it. So, yeah. Exciting. Almost there. Almost. Um, so as we said, today is town day. We have 25, no, I'm just kidding. 20, 20. I wouldn't even be surprised. Did you see me look surprised? We have 20.2 miles. We have 3,576 feet of ascent and 3,412 feet of descent. And like we said yesterday, we are leaving Yosemite. Kennedy Meadows supposedly has yurts, or yeah, a yurt. A yurt. And dorm rooms to stay in, or you can camp. Um, from the far out description, it sounds like they have a bomb restaurant. So pretty excited about that. So Do they got anything else? Uh, good, supposedly good reason, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. All right, let's get going. Someday 
right, so we made it to Kennedy Meadows North. Um, we got a ride down from Gary. We just made the shuttle at, it was about 3.15ish. We didn't think the shuttle was coming until 4.30, right? Yeah, I knew there was one at 3.30, but I didn't, I wasn't banking on it. Oh, well, either but way. Gary's a super awesome dude. Yeah, like, he was super nice. He gave us a lot of, like, uh, history of the area and told us all about this place. So anyway, so, um, we made it down here. We went to go check in. And, like we said before, they only have the dorms that are upstairs or they have the yurt. Um, but surprisingly they had a cabin available so it was only like fifty dollars more for us to get the cabin it has obviously a bed we can share instead of just the dorm room bed we have our own private bathroom kitchen and yeah so why wouldn't we take the cabin um so right now they do have laundry too um, they have like four washers and dryers that we can use that's included with the cabin. Um, so we're going to go do that in a minute. And we're also going to go to the store and resupply. The, uh, the restaurant is closed from 4 to 5 to switch from lunch to dinner. So we got kind of like 45 minutes-ish um, before we can go eat. So that's why we're going to go resupply quick. And we'll be back and show you what we purchased. Leah said that we were going to show you guys what we got. She's in the shower so she can show you her stuff when she's done. Um, but so here's my stuff. These are my dinners. Just some peak meals. Kind of getting lazy, don't want to clean my pot anymore. Um, this is going to be part of my lunch. With, uh, tortillas. With Leah. I'm going to do the same. Buffalo, some salami, some cheese. Some Cheez-Its and then some cream cheese on there as well. And then these are going to be my snacks throughout the day. Right here. Got a rocky road. And then for breakfast, we've been using this uh, dibs container. You can fit two, uh, two oatmeals in here. Really good. Just clean it out and you're done. Um, so we're going to have oatmeal every day. For breakfast with the breakfast essential and I got my drink packets and then here's some beef steaks um, they're jalapeno cheddar uh, so the, the person that owns um, Kennedy Meadows all the meat that's sold at this place and at the restaurant is all from his cattle that is you know grass-fed just free roaming I thought they were awesome beef steaks so um, but that's what I got, and Leah will show you hers in a second when she's got all of her stuff ready. All right, so here's my resupply. Like Kevin, I'm getting lazy. I don't want to clean my pot. We've started a new thing with oatmeal for breakfast just because it saves space in our bear can. And then here, all this stuff. I either had or I found in the hiker box here. And then obviously you gotta have the candy and the chocolate. Um, and then some of the days for lunch, I'm gonna take this ham and cheese or salami and cheese. And then I just put a piece on each cracker. And I don't know, it fills me up. And then other days I'm gonna use, I'm gonna split these tortillas with Kevin and then some days I'm going to put um, tuna on them. So yeah, hopefully I've got enough stuff. I don't know. So far, um, for the past, I'd say three or two resupplies, um, I haven't had anything left in my bear can. So that's like the goal, to go into town empty so that your bag is 
as light as it can be. Um, I think Kevin's actually done pretty good too. He normally buys way too much stuff, but he's been eating a lot lately. So. Anyway, um, yeah, he's in the shower. I'm gonna run and start the laundry and then we're gonna go to dinner. All right, so we are back to our cabin. Uh, we had a good dinner at the restaurant and got the laundry done. Got the laundry done. We stopped by the local saloon <laughs> and watched some some bull riding and or bull I guess wrestling. rodeo. We watched yeah. some rodeo. Anyway, um, came back here, folded the laundry. We still got a couple chores to do before we go to bed or in the morning. Um, but yeah. Today was a great day. It was extremely windy, but other yes. than that, I think we killed it. It was, um, I would have to say, one of my favorite days of hiking. Oh. Yeah, it had great views. Um, the inclines weren't so bad. Um, there was no steep rock steps or anything like that. So yeah, today was one of my favorite days of hiking, I will say. It's very beautiful. And we also ran into um Jonathan. Yeah, snow AKA cone. Snow cone. Um so back in Mount Laguna, we had met him and um hung out with him for like one night. And then I but think we, we hiked with seen him. him again. Yeah. And then we seen him again in Iowa. Yep. Yeah, for one night. And then yeah, um we were just you know, he hiking crossed. along today, and he was like, "Hey, I know you guys," and we're like, "Oh my gosh!" Yeah, so he's that's gonna cool. he's gonna be finishing in Kennedy Meadow South. So. Yeah, so congratulations, congratulations to him. Pretty awesome. It's it's really cool to see a bunch of people that you met a long time ago, and, and then and we're cross like, paths again. Yeah, because we've been just flipping. Everyone's been flipping around so much. So, anyway, all right, we're gonna go to bed. Yeah. And uh, we don't have to get up early tomorrow. Because the ride's not until 10 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, so we get to sleep in a little and do some chores in the morning. Get a nice big breakfast, which we'll show you. And yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. the um, restaurant I couldn't think of that word